Samantha Jones never missed a major fashion show. Can I have a cigarette? Sure. Can I have a kiss? Oh, shit. Moves Samantha had heard of or seen in old movies, but moves she never thought she'd experience firsthand. Men sheep for the same reason that dogs lick their balls, because they can. It's part of their biology. Great to see you. Oh, I don't have a baby. Everybody drink. <laughs> she fucks on that couch. She buys it. <laughs> she gives birth on that couch. She buys it. You okay? Thank you. You're very sweet. Samantha didn't believe in monogamy, especially when it came to real estate agents. I once found another woman's underwear in a man's bed. Maybe it was Samantha's. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at you. July? Wow, isn't it a little wrong to wear a dead man's design to his own funeral? It's wrong not to. If checking out other women is the biggest problem you're having with him, you're lucky. Well, if it's that small, you should be able to stop. Oh, honey, you can't change that about a man. It's part of their genetic code, like farting. Would you like to sign the guest book? Hi, right, would you like to sign the guest book? Well, at least we get to see who's arriving alone. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mr. B. You bought a pregnant woman a bottle of scotch. The invitation said BYOB. That meant bring your own baby. This hot dog sucks. My entire life sucks. Your life doesn't suck. You have a man who really loves you. Oh, yay love. Woo. The fat from my ass injected into my face. I mean, look. Like a baby's bottom. Unbelievable. Isn't it? Are you telling me that you are s seriously capable of having sex with a senior? Are those recreational because this drink isn't doing it for me? If we perpetually gave men blowjobs, we could run the world. <laughs> and at least our hands would be free to greet dignitaries and stuff. <laughs> Very late that night, Samantha decided to roll out the welcome mat for her new neighbors. Hi. I gotta tell you, you look amazing. <laughs> You know that I never pick up guys on the street unless they're very cute. There's nothing scarier than a really big one coming at you. I didn't even want to get my mouth near it. I was afraid I'd get locked up. We want to have sex with a woman. <laughs> Are you serious? That night, while David and David got undressed and waited for her in the bedroom, Samantha began to wonder if maybe she was about to go too far. I do to turn them off. Not having a dick would be the thing that you did to turn them off. Natasha, what a bullshit name. Totally. Stupid. That's complete bullshit. Relationships have been on the decline since women came out of the cave, looked around and said, this isn't so hard. Oh, honey! Excuse me. Let us throw. I never met a man who was bad in bed who was good at life. And just for the record, in bed, you are. Don't make me state the obvious. I am serious. Off now. Excuse me, when did tanning come back in style? Hand me the 45. 45? And she took a copy of my Rolodex. Do you think I can sue? Um, Excuse me. I'm totally fucked right now. OK, people. Fiesta fireworks outside. Let's go. This is an awfully long way to go to watch some firemen take their shirts off. Honey, I'm on the fucking ferry. I better see more than just pegs. Hello. Where is everyone? The country runs better with a good-looking man in the White House. I mean, look what happened with Nixon. No one wanted to fuck him, so he fucked everyone. Well, at least you wouldn't have to wax. And by the way, if you ever change your mind, you've got cop written all over you. <laughs> really? I support you, and honey, these bitches need to be put in their places. Oh, I can't believe that bitch is a no-show. I have never been happier. Your relationship is my greatest fear realized. Are you packing? No, okay? I'm not. I don't have a tampon, and I'll probably never need one again. Simple no is good enough. Sorry. Samantha said sorry, but what she really meant was, when did it become acceptable for over-the-hill losers to ask out hot women like her? Samantha moved to the hot and trendy meatpacking district, 
Morning, ladies. Where whores were whores, men were women, and rents were much, okay. much higher. Oh, relax with the knee-jerk liberal reaction. That wasn't black talk, that was sex talk. Siobhan invited Samantha to go uptown and hear an artist he was thinking of signing. Back to the line, motherfucker! Samantha realized the only place Adina was interested in fusion was on a plate. Talk about politically incorrect. She can't diss me just because I'm white. Please tell me you didn't say diss. What can I say? Adina has always been there for me. I mean, ever since Mom died, it's only been the two of us. Can you believe it? This is terrible. What's going on? What if I... This is your floor, man. Oh. Yeah. Um, excuse me. If you want to say something about me, say it to my face. <laughs> Look, sometimes with the right guy, you have to make concessions. There's always going to be something. This is Jeff Benton. Uh, ladies. How do you do? It's a pleasure. Hi. I'll take your coat. Take your time. <laughs> Surprisingly, Samantha had found what she was really looking for. And it had nothing to do with size. Well, the bad news is you're fired. The good news is now I can fuck you. Exactly. At my age, my mother was saddled with three kids and a drunk husband. You just have three drunk friends. <laughs> By choice. <laughs> That girl needs the stick out of her ass and a dick in her coochie pronto. Am I right? I didn't think I could feel any worse. Oh, here we are. It's, it's a dorm. Well, look at that. I feel worse. Just a new friend and gorgeous New York man. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to LA. I'm Garth. I'm Samantha. How did you know I was from out of town? The next day, Samantha decided to get some exercise as well. Unfortunately, her pocketbook was getting most of the workout. I'm not going to die in this tin can. I have a date with a dildo. Hi. I'm Samantha Jones. Hello. I just wanted to tell you I'm a huge fan. Relax, we're going, we're going. What'd she do? Huh? The next day, Samantha and I went to the valley for Fendi bags. You haven't slept with them yet? Honey, before you buy the car, you take it for a test drive. And where's the food? Huh. It's amazing what four days of a cough syrup and Fanta diet will do for the appetite. They're wasps. There's never food, only booze. <laughs> Fine, one martini, six olives. By the way, they do wear something under those kilts, but it's easy to get off. This is insane. I'm married. I can't be looking at gardeners. Honey, what's the point of being in the suburbs if you're not going to fuck a gardener? <laughs> Welcome back. You old married lady. No. <laughs> Bye, have fun. All right. Oh, my. It's so certain to Soleil. You haven't <laughs> fucked till you fucked in the swing. I've always wanted to run off and join the circus. Not sexy, honey. Dump him immediately. Here, use my cell phone. But it's only because he put all his money in the comic book store. So not sexy. What's his memory? How many sexual partners have you had? I'm counting. Samantha began to realize she was being taken into that little room. She was perfectly healthy. The nurse just wanted a quiet place to lecture her on safe sex practices. You're 13 years old? Duh. And what are you, like 45? And just like that, the meeting was officially over. I'm sorry. I don't do kids' parties. <laughs> but then Samantha realized she'd had something that no amount of money could buy a childhood and suddenly the Dairy Queen wasn't looking so bad wait till you see our gal really? <laughs> you gotta grab 35 by the balls and say hey world I'm 35 okay calm down that Sunday Samantha went to church sorry I'm late hi I had to pick up my nude contact sheets look Okay, but only until the food arrives. I remember when Danny had more than one thought, and they all involved going up my ass. You had sex with Danny? Sure, he's cute, straight, and we've known him for 10 years. It is so hard. Last night, I could not stop thinking about a Big Mac. I finally had to get dressed, go out, and pick up a guy. 
Talk about a happy meal. Wearing these. Ew, what are those? Fake nipples. And why are we carrying them around? They were sent to me as some kind of promotional thing. We're supposed to be getting to know each other again, not, not. Fucking against a hand dryer? <laughs> to Samantha Jones, some things were unforgivable. And taking someone hey! else's cab was right at the top of her list. I was here first! Oh, you guys. Trey and I are trying to have a baby. Why? You can make a painting or you can do my laundry. <laughs> Not gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. You okay? I'm fine. Samantha decided if she was going to be gay, she'd be gay all the way. Yes, ladies, I'm a lesbian. Just thought it would be fun to take our relationship out on dry land for a change, that's all. Besides, what's the fun of getting clean if you can't get a little dirty first? I mean, what the fuck? Uh, uh, I need a drink. Would it be bad to have a martini with my muscle relaxant? Or bad in a good way? <laughs> ladies? Good morning! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Those here are beards, Miss Girl. Aha! Don't I know it? Samantha always knew how to get her way with men, even if they were half women. Who wants the winner? Girl, I'm trying to get rid of one. <laughs> men, we have to run to Helga the Hot Waxer every other week, but them? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was brunch, not a fertility seminar. Okay, let's all just. Look at that one, isn't it adorable? Which one? The red one in the middle, I love it. The Birkin bag? Really? That's not even your style. Charlotte, I'm masturbating. I told you I'd be doing that all day today. These are guys, they don't talk, they fight. They can't help it, it's all that crazy testosterone. God bless it. And Samantha. It was a pear-shaped diamond. Oh. With a gold band. Oh, ick. Ugh, no wonder you threw up. I only have one ball left. These are surprisingly delicious. I know. Why would anybody go to the trouble of making one when you can buy one that's so perfect and individually sized? We're going to the funeral? I thought we were just sending flowers. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? You look great. Well, she does. It's 4,000. I know. And there's a waiting list. I assumed. Five years. For a bag? It's Samantha Jones, question. How the fuck long does Lucy Lou have to wait for that Birkin? That's my fucking Birkin! And there went Lucy Lou, all cause of a Lucy lie. Fuck. Were you on top? How is that relevant? You mean you can have them on the bottom? Top, bottom, upside down? All right, now you're just showing off. Your resume is all fluff. Fluff? It's just parties and social events. What is it that you do in your hotels? Nuclear fission? Ms. Jones, wait! But Samantha couldn't wait. She could feel the tears building up inside her. May I sit down now? What the hell? Aiden left you? I'm engaged. Fuck you. Oh, let's have a drink and celebrate. Two rupees, please. Oh, so worry, you won't know it's me. I got a wig from the Raquel Welsh wig line. The Raquel Welsh wig line? That's because gay men understand what's important. Clothes, compliments, and cocks. Well, it's about fucking time. Get over here and do me. Is that your standard greeting now? I already did. Did you need something else? No. She wanted to tell him that it wasn't just the drug talking that night. Why are you wearing that wig? Because my hair under it looks like shit. Miranda has a son. Just what the world needs, another man. Oh. I'm pregnant. I can't control it. Well, honey, you better learn because that is unappetizing. Hello, gorgeous. 
sweetie. It's perfectly okay to like a guy. For the last time, the only thing I like about Richard is his big, throbbing, rock-hard, perfect dick. There is no known cure. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's get you a cab home. There's one. Taxi! Just give me a block. I'm having fun. You told him you loved him? It was the ex talking. All I wanted to do was to have sex. It's not just you. I don't want to get married. Ever? 50%? Hold on. There's potential investors in Munich. I wish I knew how to say fuck you in German. Fick me. What about you, Lolita? Anything you do, you wouldn't want a man to see? No. You know I believe her. Something you want for your birthday? What I want for my birthday is not to celebrate it this year. Well, what if I want to celebrate it? Is a three-way with a 21-year-old a bad idea for Richard's birthday? What are you going to get him next year, a four-way? Look, he doesn't want to be monogamous, so either cheat with me or without me. Who's up for champagne? I'm up for anything. the door and she's supposed to be sitting on a lily pad being worshipped how are we gonna find your sailor we'll find him i'll have the fruit plate and i'm back with richard richard whose death we've been plotting well maybe there are no men everyone who's anyone has a book okay i'm not sure what you just said because i was temporarily blinded by a piece of jewelry let me see that i just got my nails done would you mind Opening my package. Ooh. Samantha, what's the big deal? We laugh about this kind of stuff all the time. Fine. Oh. Samantha. It's fine. I want your opinion. You, you do? Yeah. Well, just in there. It's huge. Huge space, huge book. Who's coming? Everyone. Samantha seemed to have it all. <laughs> Peeled off. Carrie, I'm entitled to a chemical peel. Wait, wait, no, 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 that was good. Women shouldn't have to hide in the shadows because they've had cosmetic surgery. Cute. Cute. Boring, boring, and boring. Like these scallops. I love the food here. Same old, same old. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. One very long trip later, Samantha and I dragged our cabooses into a bookstore near the Golden Gate. We don't sell vibrators. Yes, you do. I bought it here six months ago. That's not a vibrator. It's a neck massager. No, it's a vibrator. From what I've heard, this one sounds like an asshole. You can't call a baby an asshole. Why not? She called it a meatloaf. I worried what every bitch in New York was saying about me. I'd never leave the house. Wait. Hey. You shower over the toilet? I'm starting to understand why there was a murder on the Orient Express. Nothing is too fancy for my Atlantic City lady. <laughs> Hi. I'm Samantha. Can I get you some towels? Somewhere between pissed off and getting off, she had to take it off. You couldn't have broken up with him tomorrow? What, lose my dignity? I'll tell you on the train. Train? Get real. American Airlines, first class, and some value. So I feel I deserve some sort of settlement. Like, say, a weekend at your house in the Hamptons? You're not invited. I'll be having a party. You're not invited to that either. I have to bring him. I won't be able to find a sitter. He's ruining my lunch. He's not ruining my party. No babies. Uh, ladies! Um, Cassandra, did you bring my tote? Oh, shit. Where are my merits? Uh, ladies, excuse me. Hi. <laughs> jealous? Oh, yes. I'm jealous. I'm just dying to look like this. Thank I love the stock market. A room full of screaming, sweating men all trying to get it up. <gasps> oh, honey, relax. I have those in my mouth all the time. 
Is Charlotte's right. You need to do something to take the edge off. I am not going on a simu date. I need something that will make a guy come in his pants as soon as he sees me. Got it. You talk to salespeople like that? I'm here all the time. They love me. Enjoy your meal. Someone should tell Crazy that owning a hot glue gun does not make you a hot purse designer. Honey, you put up a very good fight, but you have no idea who you're dealing with. A day of great sex was about to fade into the past. All married couples stop having sex eventually. That's not true. You've had sex with plenty of married people. That's how I know. Let's keep dancing. Look out. She's got a piece of fruit. She's not afraid to throw it. Can we not talk about that? Looking good, Shane. Hi. <laughs> Ma'am, can you undo your cuffs so we can use ours? Surely. All the good ones are getting arrested. My name is Samantha. I'll be your waitress this evening. Tonight, I will be serving you. The whole time, he kept screaming, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. I tell you, it is so refreshing to be with someone who likes to fuck outside the box. Men are crazy. I fucked that waiter at the party, and he got fired for it. So I gave him $300 the next time we fucked, and now I think he's upset. OK, not the same situation. And as two women's fantasies were being shattered, another's were being brought to life. <sighs> Samantha Jones. The test of a good relationship is, are you like this or like this? What can we do that would be fantastic? I know. I'm taking you to bed. I'm not that off, man. Not bad. It's a new club opening tonight. I haven't fit into these since 1985, and that is only because I had mono. <laughs> Miranda, I've never noticed before, but you've got one hot ass. Really? Yeah. Hello. I understand that your child and I have to coexist in this city. Living alone. There's not always somebody around to rip your clothes off. I'm gonna miss you, Samantha. Oh, save that performance for Mr. Van Sant. It's just two weeks. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. Would you get out of here already? I'm late as it is. Yeah, yeah. Dirty boy. So, how's Friday at 9? I can't do Friday. But we always do Friday. It's TGI Fuck Day. They need strong women to charge in there and help, like I did with Smith Jarrett. It's not a competition. You're right. She's being fucked by a hot black doctor, and Steve had a tampon up his nose. <laughs> no contests. By a miserable hot summer day, which was the 14th miserable hot summer day in a row. Samantha Jones! What is that? Nothing. Okay, hand it over. Oh, please excuse me. What was that? Well, I'm going it out. My hair down there. Smith enjoys the full bush. Or tie. No, I just had to. <laughs> I have a new sympathy for the disabled. Man, I missed you. Look, I know where you want to put your hand, and I'm sorry, but I'm just not that kind of girl. Listen, Blondie, if you're going to be in this business, you're going to have to be a lot more thick-skinned than this. Oh, oh. OK, what is so important that it couldn't wait? I found a gray hair. And a food? In my hair. Down there. I have something to show you, and I don't want you to freak out.
So do you like my skunk? Samantha, you look so pretty today. Thanks, I have cancer. What? So you got yourself a man, a real power player. Someone who takes charge, drags you to the bed, has his way with you, doesn't have to ask what you want, and fucks you and fucks you. We're not talking about me anymore, are we? I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate myself for doing this to you. My legs are fantastic. I have killer abs. My ass is perfection. Is this the part we're not gonna like? But I have decided, after careful consideration, that I might be ready for bigger boobs. Elizabeth Taylor got gang banged in the park? Oh God, that's so 80s. In fact, early 50s. That's a good age. They've been around the block and know how to use the cock. Oh. Close as possible to a cocktail lounge. Look at Miranda working Mr. Grape there. Steve was one lucky guy. Samantha. <laughs> and further downtown, Samantha was in hot pursuit of the hot woman doctor. <clears throat> this is my second day at this fuck cocktail office. Once the gay rumors start, it means you're really a star. I think my maid is using my vibrator. Other times, you wish your friends were not quite so comfortable. Anyone want to talk about cancer? Anybody? Are you sure you want to do this? It worked for Paris Hilton. I need to set the record straight, literally. I really don't feel like having my photograph taken tonight. I want you to have sex. I'm serious. I know what we have. Sex is just sex. I understand that. Oh, to hell with it. Whew. That's better. Please. Easy there, waterworks. 